You are tuning in to another episode of With Gus, and this time we're going to be covering the physics and dynamics of splitting wood. But first, we need a costume change. So with with splitting wood, you know, there's a bit of a uh, bit of a sequence of steps you must undertake to get it just right. Now this is what us professionals like to call the knack. Now I'm going to help you acquire the knack with a few simple steps. So essential ingredients is you'll need a block of wood, small axe, and the block splitter itself. And once you arrive at this stage where you've got your log to be split on the cutting log, you need to stop and think about the physics. First of all, we need to establish um, the physics of our log. You can see here, this is what we're going to cut. Here is the end grain, here is the side and the round. Now this log will only split this way because the grains are running vertically. So you'll want to use your axe to push the grains apart so much that they split into two giving you two logs and the desired result. Now we have to talk about the swing. When you're going to swing your axe into the wood to do the damage. Let's say this is your this is your log you want to split. That's it there, the fibers are running this way. It's on your large splitting log. This is you. Now you're going to want this height here of your splitting log to be around hip height. So when you swing the axe, it makes a nice arc like this and comes down and hits this log on a horizontal axis like that. If you're hitting it too low, your momentum will not be traveling vertically down through the log, but rather diagonally through it, which will cause a loss of energy resulting in a log not split or potential shin damage. Now, to make sure this bloody log splits, you're going to want to throw this axe as hard as you can. Rule number one. The next step is to determine the hardware you're going to use. So, we can run through some axes here. This is a tomahawk, which is a little small axe. You know, useful for chopping your thumbs off and splitting small wood. It's okay. This is a woodcutter's axe, which is used for Cutting down trees, it is used across the grain of the wood and it's very sharp um, for splitting through those cross grains. And then last is the block splitter. Now the block splitter is more of a wedge shape and it's used um, to split along the grain and it basically pushes the grains apart with its own blunt force. Now it's very important and you bring the axe down square and central to your line. You want to draw to your groin when you bring the axe over. So you want to come straight over your head and everything must be even. This helps when the axe flies off and you have better control. It's, it's a number of things. Trust me on this. Trust me. So now that we've completed all that, let's have a go. See if the physics is foolproof. Yep. Another hot tip, if this is your angle of draw with your axe, you'll want to stand with your feet perpendicular to the log. This ensures that you're using your muscles evenly and your bringing the axe down perfectly square which gives good accuracy Oops. so we'll go ahead and I'll show you uh, another another perfect example of wood splitting notice all my techniques bringing them all together into one fluid action it's very important it'll save you back it'll save your hands it'll save a lot So 
So just note how I did that. I kept my body perpendicular to the log and to the action I was traveling. I picked up the axe by the heavy end to save the stress on my arms. And when I picked it up, I carried it over my head, still holding the weight in this end. And then during the swing, sliding my hand down like that. So when you're bringing the axe down, you have two arms pulling straight onto your log. Very important for maximum damage. So now that we're all masters of wood splitting, here's a slow motion sequence of me busting some logs. Thank you for tuning in to another episode of With Gus. It's brought to you by Milo Downs Media Association. See you next time.